An explosive growth of private vehicles on the roads make traffic jams a norm rather than an exception, making it inconvenient for people to reach destinations on time. The ideal solution is to have in place quick, safe and reliable public transport. Welcome to Rapid Metro Gurgaon. Experience change, experience the convenience. Rapid Metro Gurgaon initiates a new era of safe, efficient and quick public transport for inter-Gurgaon commuting as well as connectivity to Delhi. Rapid Metro is Gurgaon's pride and India's first private, fully owned and operated metro, equal to the world's best in class mass transport systems. Gurgaon is a prime example of, uh, you know, unplanned growth. Delhi Metro provided uh, the benefit of the metro about two or two and a half years back. But it only brings you up to MG Road, uh, which is a business district. But then it did not give you any last mile connectivity or any connectivity of that sort. So to assist people in traveling to their place of work, we planned the last mile connectivity. The Haryana government initiated Rapid Metro Rail project back in July 2009 at an estimated project cost of Rs. 1,088 crores. This is a project that is 100% financed by the ILNFS group. The government of Haryana provided us with whatever support was required to implement the project. They've also leased an uh, extensive amount of land to us for 99 years. So we made the complete investment and we received the support from the government of Haryana. And that is why it is classified as a private-public partnership. Aiming at achieving the highest levels of quality, safety and reliability in an ultra-modern transit system, Rapid Metro Gurgaon obtained ISO 9001, ISO 14001 and OHSAS 18001 certifications as well as registration with UNFC. Implementing a project so complex and huge is not an easy task as there were hurdles at each step Manpower to handle the project was the first step that we successfully handled. With this in place, the next step was coordination at different levels. We are working in a congested urban environment. Managing the project in such a high traffic density area is a big challenge. Many times we could not do the work during the daytime, so we had to delay the work and then do it only in the evenings or night time. Rapid Metro has the tallest metro pillars and what made the job so challenging is that the piers had to be located at intersections where different projects were underway. What we used to do is we always first prepare a bypass road or a, you know, so that the traffic can be diverted to some other lanes and this is how we planned. Laying the 3.7 km long viaduct on piles and putting up spans with steel girders was another challenge since it was essential to ensure traffic was not disrupted and that people's lives or property was not endangered. The Rapid Metro network covers a track length of 5.1 kilometers with six stations. The stations which are operational in the first phase are Sikandarpur, Phase 2, Belvedere Tower, Cyber City, Molsari Avenue and Phase 3. Building the stations was also a challenge. Rapid Metro followed NBC and NFPA 130 guidelines and design incorporated easy access through two staircases connecting concourse to platforms. Each station is light, spacious, airy, well laid out and a delight for commuters. What we have tried to do is that within a limited space we try to make aesthetically good looking stations. We try to create a modern image of the station because we, it has to gel with the local buildings and local ar ar architecture. And uh, wherever possible, be it lighting, be it the roof design or be it the entry-exit uh, structures, we try to follow a modern design so that the station gel with the architecture of the cyber city. Rapid Metro integrates well with Delhi Metro with the same fare structure smart cards and tokens. Delhi-bound commuters interchange at Sikandarpur, crossing over an elevated walkway to the Delhi Metro platform. The Gurgaon Metro partnered with Siemens of Germany for implementation of the project. Siemens is in actual charge with a turnkey contract to build the line and supply five metro trains each 
with three cars. Siemens, one of the best companies in metro rail implementations, provided coaches from its factory and provided a fully automated train control system comprising of C-cars, electronic interlocking, line-side signals, track circuits, onboard computers and many more sophisticated features. Trains have all modern features, all safety features, what modern trains are supposed to have. We have onboard surveillance cameras. Passengers needing help can speak to uh, driver at any point of time by pressing a button. In case of emergency, evacuation is possible from the trains. No stone is left unturned to make rapid metro safe, fully automatic, speedy and reliable. Instead of overhead power, Rapid Metro has developed a third rail to provide 750 volts DC as traction power with automatic cutout and interlocking safety features. The signaling, automation and computerized controls from Siemens are the best, greatly relieving the burden on staff in charge of running and operation of the trains. Gurgaon Metro has five trains running at four minute intervals and is designed to carry 25,000 passengers per hour. Automation makes this a smooth ride for everyone involved, besides assuring safety. Signaling system provides full ATP protection. Uh, ATP we define as automatic train protection. Even if driver tries to make mistake deliberately, the system provides protection. It applies emergency brakes. Each coach of Rapid Metro Gurgaon is made of aluminum alloy with fire-resistant FRP cladding and stainless steel seating. Siemens has provided computerized controls for the four doors, train operator monitoring equipment, route maps, LCD displays and fail-safe braking. As opposed to other metros, Gurgaon Metro has a standard gauge track stretching 6.29 kilometers with an actual operational distance of 5.1 kilometers. After 400 kilometers of successful trial run of the trains, the system was declared open for public use on 14th November 2013. People who were so far getting off at the station in Sikandapur on DMRC and took some means of transport are now going to transfer to a rapid metro system and then will get off at any of the other five stations around the alignment. This is really uh, you know, beneficial to people who don't have their own means of transport and who, all, who only use public transport. Rapid Metro Gurgaon defines the way people commute in the 21st century, ushering in an era of modern transportation, safety, comfort and affordability. It is a project for the people, designed to bring them convenience, saving valuable time and improving quality of life.